Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I am here with an announcement of a new project that I will be getting. I will be beginning very soon. Um, not sure exactly when, but what I am going to do is take the Philadelphia Phillies of 2020 using the imagined set through a season, through a 162-game season. So if you look at the Imagine set, and let's look at Philadelphia, and um, let's look at their, um, let's see, team, update, computer manager. And if you look at their um, Pitcher Today starter schedule, you can see that there are 162 games on this schedule, not just 60. This is what their schedule would have been had the 2020 season been played uh, regular. As you know, only 60 games were played because it was a COVID year. Now, uh, a few things. I am going to do the season with the Phillies card and dice. The Phillies game will be card and dice. Um, I will either um, do them, you know, uh, roll the dice as the game is going on and do the entries manually, or I will play the game out at my table separate from the computer, and then I will go back through uh, using the scorebook, which I think I can do, Using the scorebook, I'll go back through and just replay the game with the entries based on what happened in the scorebook. Uh, that way we will have the Philadelphia Philly stats, so they will be set to manual, and, uh, although, and those games will be manual for both teams, and I will do the manual entries. Every other game will be auto so that the uh, season plays out. And then we see where the Phillies can finish. Now, the reason I am taking the Phillies and not the White Sox is because, uh, I, as I've said before or hinted at before, you guys must be getting White Soxed out. And I'm really a baseball fan. I love baseball. Yes, I'm a White Sox fan, but I have White Sox everywhere. I had a White Sox out of the park um, like three or four seasons uh, that I did, and I did several videos along the way on that. I am currently doing an uh, uh, Atlantic League, kind of a 1994-based um, franchise-type season with the White Sox. So um, I didn't want to do the White Sox. Um, and the White Sox actually were, were good. They were good enough that they made the playoffs. Uh, but the Phillies, I don't think the Phillies made the playoffs in the 60-game uh, season, and they finished just under 500. I think they were like, um, I don't, I don't want to, um, they were like 28 and 30 or something like that. Um, so they were just a couple of games under 500. And I've always kind of liked the Phillies, and I like some of the players that are on the Phillies currently, like uh, Bryce Harper. Um, he's on my uh, he's on my Elmwood team. So um, we're going to take the Phillies and see if I can get them a winning record. Maybe not the playoffs, but we'll see. Now uh, the reason I'm another reason I'm using the imagined full blown season is because the full blown season for 2020 was never played. So people can't say, well, in this game you know, against whoever, you didn't play this guy, you didn't pitch this guy, you didn't play these players. And I'll say, yeah, you're right, because that game never really existed. Or at least it didn't exist as it was uh, right then. Like, I'm, you know, they played the Mets, like they'll play the Mets in the Imagine season, and they... Did I think they did play the Mets also in the uh, in the actual sixty game season, but they played them probably at different times, different situations. So, uh, and that's going to be a key to trying to make the Phillies better. I'm going to try to I'm going to play 
players the way I want to play them, as much as I want to play them. As a matter of fact, I'm a child of the 80s, so I am going to pitch pitchers, starting pitchers, a lot longer than the actual um, manager did at the time and that and longer than managers do now. So we're going to do that. We're going to see how that goes. It is gonna, it's going to take a while because, for one thing, there will be games that, like I said, I will do using a scorebook out at my table, and then I will have to come back, take the scorebook, and go through it, and then replay those games uh, manually by, with manual input. Um, and then sometimes, yes, sometimes I'll just do it right at the computer. I'll just roll the dice and input the entries. Uh, but for like games that I televise, because I will televise some games on my channel for the televised games, those are going to be done out at my table using the scorebook. Um, and, um, and then I'm going to have to transfer those statistics to the, uh, game. And I prefer to play like that anyway. I don't really want to, I don't prefer to play like rolling the dice at the computer and inputting everything, even though that would be, it would cut down on some of the time. So it is going to be a little time consuming, but I'm looking forward to this. Um, pretty excited about it. Uh, so let's see if I touched all the bases. Phillies, because I, you know, always kind of like the Phillies and a lot of the players that they've had over the years, and some of the players that they have now. Um, and they were just under 500, so they're right in that middle pack where they're, they're just good enough that I could maybe make them a little better, but they're not bad enough that, you know, it's a total loss to even try it. Like, you know, I mean, I kind of like the Pirates too, but the Pirates were terrible. I have friends, uh, you know, uh, or, who like um, other teams, like the uh, like the Red Sox, but the Red Sox were terrible. Um, and then you know teams like Oakland who won their division and Tampa Bay who won their division, they're going to be too good. There's no challenge there. So the Phillies, I think, hit that sweet spot. Uh, I'm going to be using 2023 rules, which by and large were what was being used in 2020. Um, there won't be a shift because the shift was outlawed, but that's fine. But I am going to do the man on second in extra innings. I hate the rule, but I'm going to use it because the computer is going to use it. Um, so I will use it. Um, and, uh, I will, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, I don't know. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do going forward. As I said, I will put games up on the uh, site as the games are, uh, you know, as I place. I will put some of the games up on the site. I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to put them all up. So I'm, you know, there would be times I'm just going to knock out three, four, five games. And then I'll just sit at the computer and input them all so that I can get the stats in for those Philadelphia games. Um and let's see. I think I covered all the bases, but let me know if you have any questions about my season. Of course, I have to go through and uh, sanitize all the um, all the CM files because you, if you've ever played the game where you've had teams on, you know, HAL control, and you say uh, make CM file, you know, have the computer make the CM file, you know that they're in a lot of cases, terrible CM files. They're not the best. They don't optimize the team's abilities. So you have to go through and check on certain players. And like if a guy is terrible at stealing, you have to say don't steal ever. You know, the computer doesn't do stuff like that. So I'm going to have to go through and sanitize the, um, the other CM files so that the teams play to their optimum ability. And, uh, you know, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, I anticipate starting the season next week with the opening day, you know, televising the opening day game, but we'll see how that goes. So uh, let me know in the description or in the uh, in the comments any questions you have about the season that I'm going to do, um, and I will 
look forward to answering those questions. And if there's anything I missed, uh, anything you think is going to uh, be a, a roadblock or I'm going to run into as a problem, let me know that. I would certainly like to know that before I start the season. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.